it's Nicole Pimo and we're back with another video. So for this video, we're going to do a review and swatches of this new product. This is a collaboration between a known Filipino cosmetic brand and also a known artist uh, slash actress. I think she also sings. So uh, this little montage that I will be presenting to you will give you an idea of what we're going to do today. So, as you just saw from our little montage, today we're reviewing BLK's collaboration with Solen Yusuf Bolchico. So, they have, um, she actually has um, two multi palettes and um, four lipsticks, but I only got parang one set. I got one multi palette, which is the Free Spirit, and then I got the two lipsticks, which are. Katleya and Sunset Lace. So I got these shades because these are the shades that are bagay sa akin versus the other, um, the other shades. Um, I didn't want to buy everything now because if I don't really like, I'm not really sure about those colors. I'm not, I will probably not wear it. So sayang naman. So I just got these shades. So for the multi palette, as I said, I got the Free Spirit. So this is the design of the packaging. It's really nice. We all know Solen is a great artist. Um, from what I heard, she designed though the packaging. So it's really nice. It's very dainty, very pretty girl ganyan yung vibes niya. So this is the multi palette eyes, cheeks, and lips. It says here that this is a soft matte. Um, Soft matte blessing your skin with ultra blendable pigment. So let's see the inner packaging. So it looks like this. Ganda no. Even the inside. Maganda yung pagka design. So you can see the colors and then you have the design. Tapos at the back, it just says um, BLK Cosmetics Solen Yusuf. Multi palette, eyes, cheeks, and lips, free spirit. It says here it's peta cruelty free, vegan, plant derived, paraben free, and it's a multi use. So, this is the back of the palette. So, let's open it. So, these, this is the free spirit palette. So, um, based on what you can see, it's more on the pinkish brownish side. Based on my experience, these are the shades that mas bagay sa akin. So, you the other palette kasi yung Mystic Dreamer, if I'm correct, it has a shade that mas on the orangey side. So, parang yon hindi I think hindi yon mas bagay sa akin. So, I got this palette instead. It also says on the packaging and on the website that you just need your fingers. So, today I'm gonna use this on my eyes and my cheeks using um, my fingers. Tapos, other side, I'm gonna use naman a sponge. Parang, I just wanna try it out. So, yun. Let's start with swatching it. So, there, there's no specific shade name for the top and bottom color. So, let's swatch the first uh, shade. Minsan parang nakakaano mag-swatch no kasi parang nasisira, parang nasasayang yung ganda ng palette but we have to show the color. So this is the first color. This is the top color. So right off the bat while I'm swatching it, it's lightweight. It's not um, the usual na parang medyo thick yung consistency. Well, it's matte and lightweight when you put it on. Although, medyo, yun nga, medyo marami yung stain sa kamay. May iwan. So, for the second color, which is the bottom part, ito yung color. So, Based kasi doon sa palette pa lang, when you look at it, the first color is more on the pinkish side. And then the 
lower the lower or the bottom color is more on the brownish reddish side. So kita naman sa swatch, this is darker yung nasa bottom. Yan. So let's try this on my face. Okay, so this side I will use the top color for both my um, lids and my cheeks. So for this side, I use my finger to um, apply it. So in terms of um, being blendable, the products blendable naman. I don't have any problem with it blending. It's not patchy. So you can see, um, na softly diff parang diffused yung pagka yung itsura niya. Dif hindi siya yung parang hindi mo na blend na sobrang solid ng color. So you can really see here that it's blendable. Yan, hindi na ako masyadong maputla tignan. Okay. So that's for the eyes. Yun nga, it's nice that it's blendable. Um, I don't have any problems with um, using my finger to um, put it on to apply it. It's also yun nga, it's buildable and hindi ko palang alam if it's going to be long wearing. So, pero I think naman since this is ano nga, a cream, mukhang tatagal naman. Hopefully, it doesn't crease. So, I'll wear this um, for a few hours and let you know how it goes. So, for the cheeks naman, let's try. So, I'll be using uh, my finger on this side. So, hopefully, hindi naman ako masyadong naglagay ng madami. It's very pigmented, as you can see. Pero, nabablend naman siya. Diffused agad yung, ano niya, yung color niya. Hindi siya mahirap i-blend talaga. I think this is, I like it because it's really blendable doesn't give you any problems with blending. So, you can see na parang yung pagka-blend sa eyes, alam mo yun, parang madali i-control yung pigment. Kasi you're able to make your eyes, yung color sa eyes, darker and then very diffused pagdating dito sa cheeks. So, parang wala lang. Parang fresh ka lang. Ganon yan. For this side of my face naman, I'll be using the bottom color. Pakita ko lang ah, I used a makeup wipe. And you can see, parang nag-stain nag na siya. So, mukhang nag-stain siya. May staying power to. For the eyes, I'll be using my finger. And then, for my cheek, I'll be using a sponge. Just so we can compare kung how it applies. So, I'm using my ring finger. Sabi nga nila, don't, para sa eyes, use your ring finger para hindi mo masyado ma-stretch yung um, skin sa eyes kasi nga it's very sensitive. So, this one, this shade is really darker than the other. Pero again, there's no problem with um, blending. Ayan o, mabilis siya i-blend. So, you can see, it's parang when I look at it on the in the mirror, parang pares na yung kulay niya. But this one is darker. Pero again, no problem with blending. Okay siya. Bandali siyang i-blend just using your fingers. Let's try putting it on using a damp sponge. So, yan. Very pigmented pa rin siya. So, what I like about using a tool, like a brush or a sponge, is that it's you just have more control kung saan siya naka-place. So, as you can see, versus this one, ito, parang mas darker nga siya. Darker yung color. And then, but I think we can diffuse this pa. Parang mas lighter thing. Kasi parang pag ganito, parang sobrang pink naman. <laughs> Yan. Yun, 
I don't know if it's just my technique, pero mas maganda talaga sa akin if my beauty tool, not just my finger. So, I ano, mas diffuse tignan, mas, parang mas maayos yung tignan with a sponge versus dito sa chico na parang nahati yung color, parang gusto ko i-diffuse ng onti dito. But again, with the products, it's really nice. Um, yun lang, I think, um, it doesn't have masyadong difference lang pagdating dong sa color. Mas may range sana yung color. Mas may difference sana. Kasi, when you put it on, when you put it on your face, parang ang difference lang is it's dark. This, the bottom color is darker. Pero it's the same shade but it's darker. Ganun lang yung difference niya. But again, it's blendable and it's lightweight. You can really easily apply it using your fingers or if you choose like me, I chose to use a sponge. So, let's try this naman with um, on my lips. So, diba? Kasi eyes, cheeks, and lips. So, we've used it for the eyes, we've used it for the cheeks. Let's try it on my lips. First off, we'll start again with the pop shade or the top color. So this is what it looks like. Again, it's very easy to blend and it's lightweight on the lips also. So it kind of feels like you're not wearing anything. So I know I've said that a lot of times, but this one really does feel like wala kang suot. Kasi parang wala lang. Yun. Wala. Wala kang suot. Ganun. Ganun yung feeling. Nice siya sa lips. So let's try the bottom color naman on the lips. So this is the bottom color of the multi palette on my lips. So it's nice. It's um compared to the other color. I think pas kita yung color difference when you put it on your lips. So when I um this color, which is the bottom shade, it's more brownish reddish. Talaga. You can really see it on the on the lips. So let's move on to the lipsticks. So first off, we have the Katleya shade. So this is the packaging. Looks really nice, very aesthetic. Same yung ano niya, yung design dun sa multi-use palette. So it it has this also. Parang color purple siya na. Not sure if this is an orchid. So this is what the lipstick looks like. So, swatch natin sa hand. This is Katea. So, next off, we have Sunset Lace. This one has a different colored na, um, flower. It's pink. Versus the other one that's violet. This is Sunset Lace. So, swatch din natin siya on my hand. So, we can see na mas pinkish yung Katleya. Parang medyo mauvy siya. And then, the Sunset Lace is more of a reddish-brown shade. So, parang ito nga talaga yung partner nung multi-palette na Free Spirit. So, parang ganyan din yung colors niya kanina, ba? So, let's watch it on my lips naman. So, first off, let's start with Katleya.
So this is Katleya on my lips. So compared to the multi palette, mas lightweight yung multi palette. This one talaga yung consistency niya, parang lipstick talaga. But it's a really nice color. Pero siyang MLBB, de ba? Parang natural shade siya, mauvey pinkish shade. I like it. I'm just not sure about the staying power, but I will let you know na lang siguro sa Instagram or um, in my other posts. Kasi I cannot wear this this right now kasi anong oras na, medyo late na tayo ng film. So, again, this is Katleya. So, next up, we have Sunset Lace. So, I think this will be a darker color based on sa mga swatches natin kanina. Well, medyo orangey din pala siya. This is Sunset Lace. True to swatch naman siya, I believe na medyo it's on the orangey brownish side yung color. But it's it's still very wearable. Hindi siya yung parang nakaka-orange ng teeth or Sabi nga ni Albert Kurnawan, yung parang may hepa yung itsura mo kasi medyo nag-orange ka niya. So, it's not like that. It's the balance of the orange and the brown is very nice. And then, same siya nung consistency nung Katleya. So, same yung lipstick formula nila. But again, it's very nice. It's a nice color. Um, both are actually very nice color. So, that's it. We've already swatched the three products that I got from the BLK Solen Yusuf Balchico um, collection. So, what uh, I can say about the multi palette, to be honest, I like the multi palette more because of its consistency. Because it's really uh, lightweight. So, I, tapos, you can use it pa on your eyes, uh, cheeks, and lips. So, tapos, yung sa lips, it's very lightweight talaga. Hindi siya yung wala siyang lagkit. And then, when you put it on, mukhang tatagal siya even if you have a mask on. Kasi, pag yung very, kahit thin layer lang siya, um, pigmented, and pigmented doon siya already. And then, because siguro nga, it's velvety and light, soft matte velvet siya, nagtatagal siya sa lips. So, para siyang tint, Pero, mas matagal siya sa lips, parang ganun. But, again, the lipsticks, the formula is nice naman. It's just that I prefer the consistency of the multi-palette. Kasi parang halos same din lang yung colors nung, nung, lipstick, nung lipsticks that I got in the multi-palette. So, yun. All in all, I like the packaging. I like the formulas of both the multi-palette and the lipsticks. Yun ka. Although, I prefer the consistency of the multi-palette. That's it for this video. If you ask me, I would recommend this product. Especially the multi-palette. But if you're a collector, I think you should get all the shades of the lipsticks and the other um, shade pa of the multi-palette. Because it is really nice packaging to be honest. Um, yun. Tapos right now, diba, they have a promo pa na it comes in, a, in an acrylic case if you get the whole set. So, if you're a, really a fan of Solen and BLK, it's a really nice um, top shelf, parang top shelf collection siya. So, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell button for a notification whenever I post a new video. Again, like I always say, if you have any suggestions, comments, or ideas for new content, comment them down below. Until then, see you next time!